Hi everyone, after how many hours? 11, 12, okay, after 7 hours of land travel, we finally arrived at El Nido! So, kaunting room tour kasi maliit lang yung room pero maganda yung view. So, pagpasok nyo, merong double or queen bed and merong single bed here. May mga pwedeng lagyan ng damit or something. Sakto lang na CR. Toilet. And hot and cold shower. Pero yung pinakamaganda. Tada! There. We have a full sea view room. So, upon entering. Ano na, rinig na natin yung aloy. Merong drinks. Tissue and it's December 31st, so and dami nagtotorotot. That's the dock where people go for island hopping. Ayan na yung mga famous na parang nature view of El Nido. Oh, so good. So, ang situation, merong isang malaking kama at merong isang maliit na kama. So, para hindi naman boring, mag-game kami kung sino. <laughs> Every night, mag-game kami kung sino matutulog sa malaking kama. So, ito ang first game. Ano ang sinasabi nila? Chick. Sino mo na? Practice mo na. Ano ba yung gesture niya? Ganyan. Tapos ganon. One, two, three. Hi everyone and welcome to the vlog. Um, I just want to insert this clip or maybe upload this separately because it's mahaba to let you know about the requirements of going here to El Nido. So yes, I'm in El Nido and you can see there. That's my view every day and I could hear the sound of the waves 24 hours a day. Okay, so actually, second, ano na to, second take na to, kasi kanina bukas yung generator. Um, okay, so let's talk about the generator later on. Pero now, let's talk first about the requirements of going here to El Nido. So, first, of course, you have to book a flight. Um, you have two options. You can book via Cebu Pacific and go to Puerto Princesa. But then, you'll have to travel for five to six hours via van or car to get to El Nido. Or you can also book um, via Air Swift. It's an airline that flies directly here to El Nido. It's a, it's a little bit pricey, pero minsan nagka-promo sila. So, yung 5,000 would be good for a round-trip ticket here and back to Manila. Um, why did I choose Cebu Pacific? First, it's cheaper. And kasi the money I used for booking this flight is non-existent. I mean, um, I booked a flight to Kuala Lumpur back in 2019 supposed to be 2020 flight pero na cancel siya na cancel and I decided na mukhang impossible makalabas ng Pilipinas so binook ko na lang siya ng Palawan so the amount I booked for that Kuala Lumpur flight is a little bit more compared to Puerto Princesa so niyaya ko si Bianca sabi ko sama kami um he she also paid for her return flight yeah because hindi naman uh, parang yung onward flight lang yung sagot ko 
And then, after you successfully booked your flights, you have to secure an accommodation. It should be DOT accredited. Because it's a check yan nila. You have to have your vaccination certificate or vaccination card. Um, wala pa na kung vaccination certificate until now, dahil sa bagal ng upload ni DOH. But DOT um, told. DOT or DOH? told LGUs na wag i-require ang guests to present vaccination um, certificate. Kasi nga, wala pa eh. So, it's not our fault kung wala pa. I just showed my vaccination card. So, once you already have your flight, your um, accommodation, and your vaccination proof, you should go to ESPAS website and apply for a travel permit. So, there lalagay mo information mo, which is of course your name, contact number, your email address, and your address in Manila or where you are from. And then, you'll upload saan ka pupunta sa Enido, saan yung ano yung address ng hotel mo. And then, you also have to attach your plane tickets, your hotel booking confirmation, and your vaccination card there. So, kailangan mo talaga yung tatlo na yun. And then, we applied for the travel permit a month ahead of our trip kasi pwede naman daw. But when I messaged Enido Tourism, they said that they prioritize approving the travel permits of the tourists who will go first. Pero because one month ahead ako nag-apply, um, nag maaga din na-approve yung permit namin parang a few days before our trip. While other people, nasa airport na sila and pending pa din yung application nila. So I highly recommend to um, submit your application as early as possible. Um, the thing is, wala namang nag-check kahit isa no SPAS QR code namin. It should be checked sa airport. So, I don't know why walang nag-check na kahit isa. Um, aside from SPAS, you also have to download the TRACE application and make your own QR code there. Pero wala rin namang nag-check. So far, wala na check anywhere. Yeah, those are the things you have to um, prepare before going here to El Nido. And then, if you're going here for long term, in case you're planning to work here, um, may mga Wi-Fi naman yung accommodation, but nawawala yung kliyente from 3 a.m. to 3 p.m. these days. Um, so, kahit may Wi-Fi, kung walang kliyente, walang internet. Um, the data, I'm using Globe, and medyo mahina siya, pero siguro depending kung nasaan kayo, baka may spot na mas malakas. So, Take note if you're planning to work here. Um, look for an accommodation na talagang secured yung internet connection. Um, mag work ako mamaya pero hindi ko sure kung ano mangyayari sa internet. Um, tours are the same. May tour A, B, C, D pa din. And the prices are also the same. Hindi ko maas, hindi gumaba. Um, medyo ano nga lang yung vibe. Medyo mas patay. Wala, walang gaanong tourists, which is good for us kasi hindi crowded. And yung mga tourists na na-meet namin, hindi rin sila hype na hype or hype na hype na mag-island hopping almost every day. Which is ganun kasi before the pandemic na araw-araw nag-island hopping. Pero ngayon, people prefer um, resting, chilling. So ako, yung second day namin, nakatingin lang kami sa beach all day. Yun lang ginawa namin, which was actually fun and healing. Um, we are staying dito sa may dock. Sa may, parang tourist center talaga siya. Um, I could say na hindi pa fully open lahat. Um, madaming saradong shops, restaurants, coffee shops or cafes. Um, pero may makakainin naman kayo bukas yung may tatlong sikat na restaurant na bukas sa street na to. So, if I were you, book a direct flight na lang para hindi ganun kapagod. And you save more time. Yes. I think that's it. And if you have any more questions, just message me. Ang haba naman ito. So, it try ko siyang i-enter sa vlog. Ay! Getting ready to have New Year's Eve dinner. Namin alam ko saan. But let's go. We're ready to go out. Open lang kasi namin. Ah. Buti na lang. Paano ka open lang? 
Ano yung nagsara kayo before, tapos nagbukas na lang ulit? Ah! Kasi nakita ko ang dami nyo ng mga reviews eh. Kaya pala nag-aano yung mga tries. Yes, girls night out. Yes, ang ganda niya dyan o! <laughs> Bianca, minsan lang siya mag-make up and mag-dress up. Minsan lang ito mga nga. So, hindi na. Basically, dyan na lang, senior it. Baga saan po kayo, ma'am? Manila. Oh. Baga lang po kayo dito na karabi, ma'am. Mm. Oh, Dari na yung mga trip. Oo, pagkakas. Nung pang guests. Lasa siyang... grapes. <laughs> Gutom na ako. Oh my gosh. Ito po si Chene Arap yata ko. Wait lang po sa tip po. Updates na lang. We have pasta, pizza, and our wine. After wine night, we are back. Tipsy. Hope there will be more masakyan three hours before the new year. And we're still out. But in the hotel, we are going to have a countdown and a countdown. masyadong fireworks. Ewan ko kung magkakaroon. Ayan na, ang dami! Happy New Year! Oh my gosh! Ang ganda! Fireworks! Ay! 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 
Yeah.